Hello there folks, how's it going? My name's Dave, DLC Dave, and welcome back. We're at a brand new season with with our Leeds United say, team. It's uh, marching on together, of course. And yeah, we're at a brand new season. There's been a whole raft of signings that we've been able to, been able to do. I'm, I'm very pleased and I'm excited about this season. I think we have a real chance to... Um, I want to try and win something this year. I think I've mentioned that already in a previous episode. That this is about the time when we need to be pushing forward and looking to do maybe a little bit better than just qualifying for the Champions League. So I'll start. I'll, I'll, I'll run through my signings right now. The first signing we brought in was Gabriel Jesus. The year, uh, obviously, you'll know everyone will know, will know him from his time at Manchester City. Um, he was available. He was on the transfer list. Uh, and he cost us 19.5 million pounds. Um, it was a fairly structured deal, but he's still only young, 23. My coaches think he's good now, but he is he will improve uh, in the future. So I think he'll be a really good option. He can play uh, all across, basically. All can play four positions within, within the team, and that's uh, a, a well, that's really really useful for one thing. And he's, he's he'll be a good 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 addition for for all areas really. The next signing is another player who's on the transfer list from a uh, Manchester club. Is uh, Luke Shaw. He's, 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 on, he's on the transfer list for Manchester United. Um, he's coming. He's, he's on a fairly hefty wage, but I think he looks really good. My, my, my coaches don't think he's that. He's that amazing. I think only two and a half star current ability, but I think he's got everything he, he needs. Maybe some of the mental sides of it is a little, a little on the low side, but physically he's very very good. Technically he's got everything. And he cost eleven million pounds. Again, it was a fairly structured deal, and yeah, I, I'm I'm really pleased to to uh, have him in. We then signed uh, Mikel Molino from uh, Newcastle United. Now I saw he, he'd been on my radar briefly, a li just 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 a, just a touch, and I saw that Liverpool had put a bid in for him, and I thought, well, he must be doing all right then. So I, I it was thirteen million pounds they put the bid in for, and I thought, well, let, let's have a look. And I was really impressed. I mean, his mentals look insane, and to me, he just looks like the perfect all-round midfielder. And so, well, it wasn't it wasn't something that we particularly needed, perhaps a uh, another defensive midfielder. He, I think I'm going to play him in the role that uh, Vieira and Ayer currently occupy. He's going to be a competition for for that for that role. I I really I really like the look of him and. I don't see why he can't, well, nail down a position for us. He cost £13 million, which I think is really good business. I'm not really sure why Newcastle were willing to let him go, because it, we, we, he wasn't transfer listed or anything. I just I, I just put the same offer in that Liverpool had, and he, and he chose us, which is, a, which is quite quite cool to think. All right, and now the next player is someone who I'm very excited about. It's uh, Felice D'Amico. Um, I think he's a bit of a wonder kid that uh, some of you may have heard of. Uh, he looks really good, really good. He cost uh, 17.75 million, so a, a pretty high price. He came from uh, Palermo last season, as you can see. He spent his time on loan at uh, AC Milan, and he did an exceptional job. 7.46 for a for then 18-year-old, 11 goals, 11 assists. And if you have a look at um, his preseason for us, seven games, four goals, four assists. He looks like he's going to be an absolute cracking football and my coach is thinking he's already four star ability and will potentially be five star ability he's a wonder kid and i think he's he's going to be he's an exceptional talent right and i thought i felt like we needed to strengthen the uh, the fullback areas and i feel like this is this, well, this, this is the first example of that uh and it is it is vyacheslav karavayev 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 is what i'm going to call him um, it looks like a really good right back to me. He's coming from uh, CSKA Moscow, I want to say. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, okay. Lisbon. Lisbon. Sorry. <laughs> he started his career there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, he came in from uh, from um, Benfica. Did I say Lisbon? Yeah. Sporting Lisbon Benfica. Yeah. He's coming in from Benfica for 16 million. So not cheap, but I think he's a really really good player. It was a big, a big upgrade on what we had there previously in either Norton or Santon. Um, one of those has left the club, actually. I'll go through that uh, after the ins. And, yeah, I think he's a really good, well-rounded right-back. And I, I like the look of him. Another player who's come in from Benfica is Pedro Alvaro. He uh, he looks like, again, a, a, a bit of a uh, potential 
wouldn't, well, I think he's a bit of a potential winner. If I coach, he's thinking he could reach a uh, four or even five stars. And yeah, yeah I think he, he may actually even start the season for me um, as a as our first choice centre back. Um, he's come in for a fair price, seventeen and a half million. He spent time on loan at Wolves last year, so he knows the Premier League. Um, he did okay for them, considering he would have been only uh, nineteen. And yeah, I think he is going to be a really good player. He, he obviously, he's got 17 intimidation, which will help his growth. Physically, he looks very good already. It's just some of the technical areas and his mentals will grow over time. So, exciting signing that one. Um, we also, I thought we needed a, uh, a backup uh, goalkeeper. Uh, I struggled to find one, to be honest. There wasn't really anybody who I could see really on the market. Uh, and so I went for this guy who, who was on the transfer list at uh, Milan, Inter, yeah, Inter Milan. Um, Frederick Rono, Rono, I'm not, I'm not, Rono, 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 Rono. Um, he looks okay, really. He's just a backup goalkeeper. He's not on a whole lot of money. He costs about three million pounds, and he may play in some of the the lesser competitions. He looks pretty decent. Good reflexes. Handling, kicking, one on one, that kind of thing. He's all right. Now, one I think I should mention is I made a uh, a, little, a little mistake in this uh, transfer window with this this guy, Raul Gudino. He was going to be the backup goalkeeper. Um, we signed him, and I wasn't paying that much attention. And I, yeah, he didn't get a whip in, but we still signed him. So luckily, he only cost nine hundred thousand pounds. It's actually uh, it's pretty <laughs> a good value, but um, it probably is, what, what what we'll try and do is wait till January and offer him out for some money to try and sort of get a little bit of money back on him because he isn't going to get away with payment anytime soon. So that's a, a mistake from me, but uh, I'll uh, try and pay more attention to this kind of thing. It's just news items coming through, signing players, signing players, and yeah, we made a we made an error. Apologies for that. So that concludes the ins. Um, as you can see on the outs, he brought in um, almost £30 million. Pounds. He spent almost £100 million again, so a big spend this year. Uh, similar to last year, I think. Um, we do need, need to maybe limit the spending, just, just a touch. Um, but I felt like you know we, we are still playing catch-up with the teams that we're going to be facing in the Champions League, and we, but we have a much stronger squad this year. So, in terms of outs, uh, Liam Cooper went out to Millwall. Um, a decent player, played a fair amount for us in that championship year, but it just hasn't really played uh, in years since. Considering the centre-back report in, in Alvaro, he was never going to play. So he's gone to Millwall in a championship, and good luck to him. Uh, Cal Norton is the right-back who's gone out. He's gone to Brighton for uh, about 2.5 million, so same price that we brought in for. He's been a good player for us, but I just feel like the, the new right-back we brought in He's just going to be a better player. Santon is also a better player. He's, he's also a, a little bit younger. So they came in and I was happy to uh, let him go. Asama Longa has uh, left the club. He's gone to Ipswich. A uh, good player. Probably just not quite Premier League class for me. Um, he, he, he did okay. Nine goals. One in three striker in the Premier League. Yeah, I think he's the kind of striker that probably for the rest of his career, he will bounce backwards and forwards, up and down from the Premier League to the Championship. Um, but he's certainly, not, he's certainly not good enough to be a Champions League level striker. And yeah, we uh, had to had to let him go. Um, the, other, the big big sale really is that uh, Alioski went to, has gone to Shangang where he's earning £165,000 a week. Now he wanted to go. Um, they came in with a bid for him for £19.5 million, pounds, and I thought that's probably worthwhile. In fact, he started the season off outstandingly for them, so fair play to him. But, yeah, I I, I don't think he would have played actually that much this, this year. He would have been a bit of a backup option with what we have on the, on, the, uh, on the pitch. So, I was glad to get almost £20 million pounds for him. Uh, Hisham Kalu has gone out to Oviedo for a little bit of money. Um, we've got him in on a uh, on a free a few, in our first year of the Premier League. And he did, he's, he's done okay for it. He's never really let us down, but he never really excelled either. He went out on loan in the second half of last season to Preston. Didn't play a lot there. And has now gone to Oviedo in the Spanish second division. So, good luck to him. He looks, looks a good little player. I mean, maybe if, you, if you're a championship club or um, that kind of level, 
then he'd be a reasonable player for you. The other side, the other outs, a few uh, frees have gone for some of the lesser known players. The bits has gone out, he played a little bit in our first uh, season in the championship. The 28 games, actually then went on loan for three years and has now left the club completely. Um, we loaned out um, Calvin Phillips to Reading. No, no bids came in for him, although his value is very high, £9 million. Pounds. That would be, I'd love, love to get somewhere near to that. I just don't really see him. He's just, he's well rounded, but geez, the, the, the circle isn't good enough. Which that makes any sense at all, but hey ho. Yeah, it's uh, it's someone who's, you know, we're getting a bit of money for him loan wise. Um, I think he is going to be a championship player for, for his career now, and I think that that's where we need to try and offload him to if we can. Uh, Luke Aliens got out on loan again, and we couldn't get a bid in. He's a reasonable player, but it's just not Premier League class, particularly. So, that, that rounds up everything. I know it took, it took a little little while to go through everything, but I'm really pleased with how the squad looks right now. Um, we do have uh, Malcolm back from his injury. He went and played in the Olympics this uh, this summer, which I wasn't particularly happy with. But he went and played in it, and that actually got him back up to full fitness. He hasn't got an injury since then, so hopefully... He's, he can put that that, uh, that behind him, and he starts for us today. We are playing Palace again, weirdly after the uh, after last season. Hopefully, we don't lose four nil again. Um, but yeah, this is the team I'm going to go with today: uh, Pickford in goal, uh, Karavayev, Holding, Alvaro, and Shaw at the back. So actually, that's three new defenders in the back four. Wow, I, I didn't realise that actually. Uh, Mikel Molino and Storaro in midfield. D'Amico, Malcolm, Neto, and Gabriel Jesus. So, quite a few new play debuts. How many is that? Six players making their debuts today. So, I'll submit the team and we'll get into the game. All right, okay, then you've got, they've got Sudani, Pauletti, they've still got Zaha, Milojevic, uh, Arnima, they've, got, they've still got Bojan, Michel, Sacco, Rudevel, Cunningham, and Hennessy. So, a few differences to what they've got now. Obviously, a forward line, particularly. Okay. Let's hope we can get off to a reasonable start this uh, for this season. I have a uh, pretty not high expectations, but I I want us to be not having to fight for the Champions League place this year. That, that's my ambition. We have a throw in here early in the game. Uh, it's cleared to as far as Marino Marino and Storaro has an opportunity, and Storaro finds that bottom corner with the oh, sublime, absolutely sublime. Have a look at this. So the, the throwing came in from uh, Luke Shaw. It wasn't the best. And Anima cleared it only as far as Marino. And he, he played it into Storaro. And I thought he was going to try and find a man. But he took it on. And just whacked it into that bottom corner. Beautiful, beautiful angle on the strike. And we uh, start starting the season off right. Right, D'Amico has, has it on the right hand side, he gets the ball across, it's cleared only as far as Storaro, he shoots, and it falls to Neto, it catches the post I think maybe, and uh, Saka I think it was, was able to clear. Uh, only, uh, can we have a corner now, uh, Malcolm can feed it in, Redeveld clears uh, as far as Marino, here is tackled by Milojevic and hopefully we can deal with this, Sudani gets onto it though. He does beat his man, he plays it across to Zaha, very, very, obviously a bit of a live wire, but we do, we do uh, snuff it out and we can, maybe we could lead something of our own, and that, that, that is the highlight over. Right, so Avaro plays up to Storaro, now Malcolm plays it into Gabriel Jesus. He, uh, he looks for Neto on the left hand side and finds him, Neto puts the ball across, not the best ball, and uh, Zaha can now lead a, uh, a counter. Sudani plays it up, but we deal with that, and it's up forward again. And Neto now has some time. And Gabriel Jesus, he plays it into Storaro, who's through for his, his end second, and that should be a goal. Wow, wow, wow. Chance he's falling to Storaro, probably not the person you'd want them to fall to, particularly. And out wide to Bojan, out wide further to Michel. It's not the best ball, and Pickford can gather. It's quite an end-to-end -end game, this. We, we have an encounter, then they're countering, then we're countering them. And it's uh, difficult to know which way the chances are going to go. But Gabriel Jesus does have it. He feeds it forward to Felice D'Amico. And my word, this kid is special. 
He's got a goal on his debut and we take a 2-0 lead. A very, very important goal. We're only 20 minutes in and we uh, obviously are 2-0 up now. Malcolm, as you can see, played it into Gabriel Jesus. And uh, it was, I think it was him who played the pass. It was a lovely clipped ball through. He took it close to the keeper, but was able to uh, find that bottom corner. Just a few minutes after that, Karavayev into Molino. Malcolm on the uh, in the centre of the pitch. He finds Gabriel Jesus. Sets the ball inside the full back to Neto. Can he get the ball across? He can. And there is, ah, oh, that is D'Amico. Just over the bar. Chance there to probably wrap up the game before even the half hour mark. Karavayev into Sodaro to Malcolm. D'Amico, it breaks back. It falls to Neto. And there is the third goal. We lead 3 0. We are running riot here at the moment. As you can see, Storaro played it into Malcolm. And uh, Malcolm fed it into D'Amico. It kind of broke a few times. It, it, a bit of a bit of a scramble, but uh, Neto was alive and found the bottom corner. And so we reached half time and it's been an absolutely it's been an absolute pleasure to watch that uh, that first half, I'm gonna be honest. A fantastic performance. Well, well done. So we'll kick off the second half. Alvaro out to Luke Shaw. Probably just be a pointless highlight and it's gone. Uh, Storaro on this uh, in the in the middle of the pitch. Malcolm is tackled, and they and they uh, launch it up to Mooney. But Pickford does make the save, thankfully. Need to be wary of that. That uh, that quick counter. That, well, just that quick long ball, really. The corner is played in by Mitchell. It's cleared by Karavayev. Only as far as Zaha. Zaha cuts inside. It falls back to Saka. I'm not sure anything's going to come of this or whether the chance has been and gone. Saka has been pushed, pushed back wide, but he faint. Okay, there it goes. So they've obviously they've started the second half much brighter, actually. I'm assuming their manager's got them in and said something to them because they look a lot, lot more threatening. Um, I may actually change it up a touch. I'm going to change our mentality to standard. Just to uh, maybe not invite them on as much offensively. They have a corner here, 10 minutes into the second half. It's in and we clear it, sort of. D'Amico maybe can bring it to clear. He finds Neto. And it back, back to D'Amico. What can he do? Yeah, that's on the man's side, puts that ball across and Hennessy plucks it out of the air. That clears it upfield now. Sudani breaks it, breaks, breaks, breaks back to with quite a bit of fortune and Sudani is into the box and puts it wide we're struggling in this second half a little bit really not uh, not having it all our own way at all all right then we're into the last 20 minutes i'm going to uh make a substitution i'm going to bring on oh hang on i'm going to make a change i'm going to bring on ayer and hoiberg for storaro and Marino. good debut for Marino. 8.1 8 getting assist also um I'm also going to bring on Vlasic for Malcolm. I made three subs. Bit of a risk, but I'm going to do it. Move uh, Dimiko into the middle. He, that's, was, that's why he played all pre-season, because Malcolm was at the Olympics. And Elena was also, actually. So, and, and it worked really, really well. He's just, I think he's just a fantastic player, to be honest. So, he could pretty much play anywhere. On this uh, left-hand side, Dimiko plays it forward to Gabriel Hayes. It's been nice for him to cap, off with, cap his performance off with a goal. Dimiko... It's quite a block that is from uh, St. Juiced. But D'Amico still has it. He puts it across and Nikola Vlasic makes it 4-0. We get our revenge on the 4-0 Open Day defeat we suffered by Palace last year. So D'Amico had it. He took a shot. What a block that is. A flying head. <laughs> it's a flocky, but D'Amico will not be denied. He puts the ball across. And I think he's going to be an, an extremely exciting addition to the uh, tours this year. If you haven't, if you haven't uh, heard of him or you haven't signed him, and you've, you've got a bit of cash, go out and have a look at Felice D'Amico because he is he is very very good and he's impressed me more even more even than I, he's better than I thought he was already. So that brings to an end this episode, guys. It's been a, a really really good episode. I'm really excited. Let's have a look to see when the next game is going to be. Um, I think maybe a double double header with this Chelsea game and a Champions League game, whoever we get. Um, it's you know, it's going to be an exciting season. I think I, I want to try and have a go at every competition. I think we have a, a real chance at 
at winning something, as I mentioned. I want I want to at least I'd love to end the season with a with a cup win of some description. Um, but we'll, we'll have to, it's obviously a long way to go. It's just the first the first step. So then, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Follow me on Twitter, of course, at DLCDave1. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.